Okay, so it's been a really long time without an update. Um, so, uh, long story short, I've successfully connected the Raspberry Pi to to the RC car. So I've I've basically hacked into the RC car, which was my main goal of this project. Now, for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna try and figure out how to get the camera to work, which is this device right here. I'm gonna try and figure out how to get the camera to work, and I'm gonna fix the wire configuration a little bit. Um. Just to explain what I have going on here, I'm going to go around the whole project. This is the circuit board right here, um, this green device. This is the circuit board, the original circuit board that came with the car. Um, what I wanted to do originally was get rid of the circuit board and actually just have the Raspberry Pi connected to the car. But I figured if anything ever goes wrong with the Raspberry Pi, I still want to be able to use the car. So what I did was I implemented or... I I soldered on uh, a bunch of wires to three different switches, and what I did with those switches is I connected um can I connected them is a three position switch so I connected them to the circuit board and to this device called the L two ninety eight N motor driver. It's just a motor controller. Um, basically, what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to switch back and forth between the circuit board and the motor controller. Um, the motor controller is connected to the actual Raspberry Pi 2. So that's what allows the Raspberry Pi 2 to control the back motor and the front motor. So, and the front motor right here, or the servo right here. So now, what I can do basically is I can, I can turn the car on and I can use these switches right here. This switch, uh, this switch, and this switch so I have three switches I can use these switches to turn the back motor the front motor and the power on and off so right now I have it set to work with the circuit board and I can show you how that actually works so give me a second I'm just gonna turn the actual car on first And I'm going to show you guys what happens. So now that I turned the car on, you can see the red light for the motor controller go on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this switch and the light goes off. So this switch is for the power. This designates whether or not the power is going to go to the motor controller or to the circuit board. So now I'm going to switch this switch as well. This switch is either for the back or front motor. I haven't labeled them, which I will do shortly after this video. I'm going to switch, flip this switch to the right and flip this switch as well to the right. Now I have my RC, uh, well, my remote control. I'm going to turn this on and the back wheel goes. The back wheel works, and I'm going to show you that the front wheel works as well. Okay. Okay. So those those both work. So now I'll turn this off, and I will flip these switches back. So now the red the the power comes back on for the L298 motor. I'm going to flip all these switches back, and if I turn if I turn the controller back on and I use it, nothing's going to happen. I can use it as much as I want to, but nothing's going to happen because I have this, the switches flipped to work with the L298N chip, which is connected to the Raspberry Pi. So now, I'm on my terminal. I'm going to run my Raspberry Pi. Uh, script. Um, give me a second. So I'm basically just changing the directory to the the um, folder that my my script is in, and I'm gonna run my Python script. So I'm running the Python script right now, and what you can see is if I use my keyboard, if I press the I key. 
the power will come out. So I just press the I key the, and the power, um, and that key basically just controls the back motor. So now if I press uh, the minus key, you can see I'm pressing the minus key and the the uh, the motor, well the the wheel will go slower. If I press the plus key, the wheel will go faster. So if I press the minus key all the way down, the wheel stops. All right. So now I'm going to quit that by pressing Q. All right. So now I've basically hacked into this car. I have a script running um, where um, you can't really see it that well, but I have a script running where it controls the back motor and the front motor. Um, I'm still working on the part for the, the front motor, so it's not completely done. Um, but I've, I've successfully hacked into this car. Um, it took me a long time. I need to figure out that to get. I need to get this uh, motor controller. This was a big part. Without this, I, I couldn't. I wouldn't have been able to do it. And I connected these. Uh, I connected the motor controller to the Raspberry Pi uh, using GPIOs, which are which are uh, connected right here with these one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five, with those five wires. Okay, so stay tuned. I'm gonna do a lot more. I'm gonna figure out how to get this this camera working. I'm gonna use G Streamer, and then I'm gonna actually put the case back on this and fix the wire configuration up. And I'll probably put some LEDs on the bottom of it too to make it look a little bit cool. All right, so thanks, thanks guys for watching.